Jewish Cardinal Jewish, enough of bloodshed in Ukraine. As the Church in Poland celebrates the 300th anniversary of the coronation of the image of Our Lady of Koden, Queen of Pablasie, Mother of Unity, Cardinal Stanislaw Jewish laments the ongoing war in neighboring Ukraine and appeals for an end to the bloodshed. Pope Francis, in appointing Cardinal Stanislaw Jewish as his envoy, stressed in a special letter that the shrine of Our Lady in Koden is a place of miracles, where many people come to pray and entrust their lives to Mary. The Pope had named Cardinal Jewish, Archbishop Emeritus of Krakow, as the papal envoy to the 300th anniversary of the coronation of the image of Our Lady of Koden, Queen of Pablasie, Mother of Unity. In his homily at Mass on Tuesday, the former Secretary of St. John Paul II underlined that then Cardinal Karl Wojtyla came in a pilgrimage to Koden before his election as Bishop of Rome. The future Pope, he said, drew attention to a particular feature of the Mother of Christ, Mary unites the people of God. And we find ourselves in a land where this unification of the people of God had a special historical significance. It was here that the meeting of the separated churches, the Western and the Eastern one, took place. As Cardinal Jewish added, the future Pope John Paul II said during his visit in Koden that in Pawlasie region, in eastern Poland, there was a need for a mother, for a presence of mother, of mother who unites, of mother who knows all of her children, whether they speak Polish or speak Ruthenian or speak Lithuanian. Appeal for an end to bloodshed. Referring to the ongoing war in Ukraine, the Cardinal pointed out that what is happening in Europe in front of the whole world cannot be accepted. He underscored how the war is depriving our brothers and sisters in Ukraine of their land, their right to life, their own language and culture, sowing death and destruction. The Slavic brothers cannot fight each other. They must not kill each other, they must not sow destruction, they must not multiply the immensity of suffering we are witnessing. The hand of Cain must be stopped. We have to bring into this hatred, violence and fratricidal war. Enough of bloodshed. Brother Slavs, let us set an example for the world of fraternal coexistence between our peoples and not of blind hatred, appealed the papal envoy. May Our Lady of Koden be our guide on the ways of ending this war, reconciliation and peace. Together with Pope Francis, we place the future of humanity in the hands of Mary, Queen of Peace. Sapiao deceitfully stole the icon and brought it to Koden in 1631, where it remains to this day. After a few years the Holy Father gave permission for the image to remain there. The image of the Mother of God was crowned with papal crowns in 1723, one of the first coronations of an icon on Polish territory.